finally here guys, the HSL DAP5 Digital Alarm Processor number five, running uh, software revision 3-5. This is a homemade fire alarm panel based off of an AT Mega 2560. It's in an, uh, a seven and a half by 11 and a half inch case, or seven and three quarters by 11 and a half. Um, this, uh, this panel, I believe, has a lot of firsts for the homemade fire alarm community. Uh, the first thing is it's built on a uh, copper clad board with custom traces routed into it. Um, I've never seen anything like that. Um, it actually has a built-in power supply that's completely custom built. So you've got a transformer here that takes 120 volts, comes in, I have a fuse, full bridge rectifier, capacitor, whatnot. Um, this chip right here, it, this is a voltage regulator that's not in use. There's another voltage regulator up inside there. But this voltage regulator uh, will be replaced with a, uh, what is it, a constant current chip or, or, or some sort of regulator. I can't remember what it's called, but for uh, fluid charging of a battery. Um, this panel has two NACs, five zones, uh, two wire support, solid state two wire support, I may add. Um, currently, it has two NACs that are solid, or I mean, I'm sorry, two NACs that are relay based. When I'm finished, it, the two NACs will be solid state, uh, transistor based, and uh, the two relays will actually be um, relays, you know, for controlling external stuff. But uh, it features a full programming menu, and uh, we'll have a software currently running a 40 by two display. Sorry, the corner of this display is broken. This isn't actually the display I planned on using on this. I had a hard time getting displays on this. So the first, rev this, is a, this is the CPU card. And uh, I've went through three different revisions of the CPU card. Here was the original one. It originally had a one by 16 display, that, but only eight characters of it worked. So yeah, we no longer have that. This is actually gonna be repurposed for the, uh, uh, for an enunciator, so. Here's a little bit of the construction of this card. My construction techniques have gotten way better since that original build, so yeah. Um, now they're looking more like this. Here's a, another Enunciator project I'm working on. But yeah. Um, anyways, here was revision two of the card. Uh, oh, I meant, forgot to mention, the reason why this one failed is because there's an internal short in this microcontroller. Um, this was revision two. And I ran out of program storage, so I had to build a revision three with a bigger microcontroller. Um, and excuse if you see my messy desk in the background, I, I've spent many hours on this. Okay, and so please don't hold it against me. Um, <laughs> anyways, I guess we'll start by going through the OS. Let me go ahead and reset it so you can see some things. Panel resetting. DAP five revision three five over 1100 lines of code. Smoke reset delay. This is a little indicator that tells you that uh, your smoke detectors are probably still initializing because um, a lot of smoke detectors have an initialization delay. Um, little spinny bar. This is configurable whether or not this message shows and how long it will show. It's configurable in the programming menu, which we will now visit. Now, in the programming menu, we've got quite a few options. We have NAT coding, zone types, smoke reset timer, which is that the time of how long that message shows, if at all, you know, the message at the beginning, and auto silence time, as well as a disable menu. So I'll go top down actually. Disable, I'll go into this menu. I'm not gonna disable anything, but you get every zone and every NAC. And what this does is it allows you to temporarily disable one of the zones or NACs. What that means is it'll disable it until the panel is hard reset, but it causes a trouble. So you will have an active trouble for that zone or NAC, okay? And it'll tell you that it's temporarily disabled. Auto silence timeout said for 10 minutes. I'm not gonna demonstrate that. I don't have 10 minutes, but uh, auto silence time does exactly what it sounds like. It automatically silences after 10 minutes. And you can also disable that. So actually, let's just, I'll show you, see, all the way to disabled, but I'm gonna leave it on 10 minutes actually, so. We got smoke reset timer, it's set to 30 seconds, I don't need to change that, but you can also change that. 
all of the zone types, uh, you have the same options to pick from. So we'll go through them. First one's disabled. What's the difference between the disabled here and the disabled in the disable menu? This is just permanently disabled, so you don't get in trouble or anything like that. It's just disabled. It, it completely ignores that zone. Then you've got alarm. Alarm with no supervision. So this does actually do zone supervision using an end of line resistor. Um, so I'm using alarm no supervision because I don't want to trouble on the system. And it's such a short run, I didn't feel like putting an end of line, but it, it does work. I will demonstrate that in the next test. But uh, supervisory, supervisory auto reset, and a silence. And silence does exactly what you think it would do. It automatically silences everything. I guess, I don't know. It automatically silences any active alarm. So we'll set this back to alarm with no supervision. And now let's go to our NAC coatings. Um, NAC A is actually the horn NAC for this horn. By the way, we're using a Wheelock RSS and a MT24 MCW, as you've seen in a lot of my videos. And uh, a 270 SPO. And uh, yeah. So NAC A coating, fast march. And these are your coding options. You got disabled, continuous, continuous, non-silenceable, code three, code three, non-silenceable, fast march, fast march, non-silenceable, march, march, non-silenceable, uh, wheel lock sync, Gentex slash simplex sync, old simplex, and system sensor sync. So I'm actually going to set this to, you know, let's go march time. I never have tested march time on this panel. So if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. And then we got Willock Sync to sync the strobes. So uh, yeah, it's gonna reset and I'll do a quick demonstration. We got the smoke reset delay and that doesn't actually affect at all uh, what you got going on by the way. So you don't have to worry about that. But uh, what I'm getting at is that doesn't affect the panel operation. It just shows that message. So now we'll go ahead and pull it. And this is gonna be loud, even though it's on low volume. Okay, now if you noticed, I held it at the relays for a second, but I wanted to show you that this panel is completely, the timing is awesome on it. I don't really want to get into how I did that, but it's it's really awesome. Um, unlike most panels, homemade fire alarm panels I've seen, um, there's no UI lag when it comes to an alarm being on. Um, it, it doesn't lag at all, really. Except it, it'll there's some pauses whenever you're changing menu screens, but that's just for reasons that's intentional. But what I'm saying is there's no besides that, there's no lag in the interface. You can press it at any time and it'll respond pretty much immediately. Um, and I'm very pleased with that. Let me go ahead and flip the switch down. Um, it can also do two different uh, NAC coatings on two different relays at the exact same time, which I'm also very pleased at. And you could hear that the sync clicks and the uh, march time were getting out of time of each other and was very, I just wanted to demonstrate and kind of show off that, that ability. And uh, I know everybody here who's probably watching this has likely seen New Age Server Alarms panel. And uh, he, he, his did that as well, um, but had, was, had the ability to do uh, two different timings at the same time. However, he used more than one microcontroller and I'm very pleased and proud that I'm able to accomplish everything that this is doing and so much more um, all in one microcontroller. It's very awesome. Um, anyways, as you see, alarm silence, press acknowledge for details. When you go here, it'll tell you what current details you have. There's only one thing going on, zone one alarm silenced. We can go back with that button and I will reset. reset delay now I'll go ahead and show you that the um, trouble system does work I'll set this to alarm with super supervision actually I'll go ahead and set this to alarm with supervision there we go now we'll get two troubles now with the two troubles let me grab a I don't know if I have a super 
Like, I, don't, I mean, I don't know if I have an end of line resistor handy. Let me try to find one. Okay, here's one. Now this uses quite an odd uh, resistor. This actually uses a 47K, um, just because that's the one I had the most of, so that's what I chose. Um, anyways, so now, acknowledge events, we can go in here, we see zone one open circuit, zone two open circuit. So now I'll go ahead and short out zone one. Go back, oops, drop it. Or not short it out, but put the, uh, the resistor on it. Come on. Reset it. Oh. And that, folks. Oh, actually, no, never mind. It's a problem with my ability to hold a resistor on there. <laughs> and I accidentally reset it again. Anyways, I don't think I need to demonstrate this, but it does work. <laughs> I just don't have steady enough hands to hold a resistor on there and demonstrate it but I can promise you it does work and uh, next video I'll, I'll try to do a better demonstration of that but uh, anyways uh, yeah let me go ahead and program this back Just set these back to arm with no supervision and disable and actually I'll go ahead and disable these zones so when you press disable it changes it and then you can reset it yep so Hopefully y'all enjoy that. See, now I got two trebles. I don't know why I can't acknowledge that. I haven't tested that menu yet, but uh, anyways, hopefully y'all enjoy that. <laughs> oh, and one hidden feature. If you hold these two buttons and reset it, it factory defaults the panel. I think I just broke the panel completely. Wow. All right, well, hopefully you all enjoyed that video. Oh, I can't believe that just happened. I've never tested that function before, but uh, that's crazy. Oh, well, nothing that a few more hours of coding won't fix. <laughs> See y'all in the next test.